Now guys, today on the Mo Show Outdoors, I'm out here with my cousin, Dwayne. He's a good looking guy, ain't he? Runs in the family. And his wife, Noah. How you doing, girl? And their boy, which one? Wyatt. Wyatt. Just like old Wyatt Earp. And one of the key things, we're doing some catfishing on trot lines, and key thing is you gotta have bait and live bait. And they got these perch traps, and I want y'all to see what they're using for bait in them. Uh, I don't even see the bait in them. Coke cans, that's the bait. <laughs> and so, you know, this is a unique thing here. And so we're gonna see if we can get some some big fish on here for y'all. Thank you for letting me come, Dwayne. I ain't no problem. <laughs> and, and Dwayne fishes out of a course. What kind of boat you have, Dwayne? A ranger. Ooh, I can't say that. <laughs> Darn right. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> well, right. Well, well, we'll get back to you when we get out there them lines. But you guys, this is a big part of it: is having your traps and getting your bait out of your traps. So now we're going through the bait out process and the running process. And guys, this is a little dangerous. If you're not experienced at this, <laughs> you don't want to be doing this without somebody who don't know what they're doing. That's all I'm saying. These hooks are anchored. They get in you. They take you in the water just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go, guy. Here's our first uh, one on I'm our trot line. Out of it. That's where the all in the middle. That's where, you know, that's where the deepest part of it is. Look at that other one. I'm that's thinking if that's where shallow, because you're gonna ride across that old uh, island right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Here, here, Dwayne. Let me get your line, Dwayne. Hold it. I'll pick up this little. I'll catch your line for you. Oh my God! There is. Yep. Hey, Norm, grab grab this line for us. I can keep us on this. Can you grab that one? That's a good one. Hey, what? Did this just get off? No. Why? Yeah. Take that pole and let me get to get a hold of this line so I can keep you more in line. Oh. There we go. Well, good going there, Mr. Dwayne Vale. That's my cousin, in case I didn't mention that. Not that big, but another one. There's another one. Yeah. You got the hook in your net. Oh, I did. Another nice one. I can feel him fighting. I feel him. Yep. There you go. I knew you was going to throw that one back because he wasn't keeper. Fish <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And catfish slime, that's the worst of them all. Okay. What's that cup, Mom? Don't worry about the cup. Yeah. They're like us old, old schoolers do it. Old oh, <laughs> I catch all my minnows and bait by hand. <laughs> you getting bigger bait? That's a quality shallow water catfish right there. That's a blue.
there's one down there. All right. Sure enough. You know, the way you are, you made it hard for me to film, son. Oh. <laughs> Our local youngster outlaw, Jesse James. <laughs> it won't be the first or the last, I assure you. <laughs> you know, people already don't like me because of my, my dad and my grandpa. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> I actually got out of a ticket because of them. Oh. Because of the oh, that's nice. So you got two more. They are dark colored though. That's, I mean, so they've been up in the shallows and they're up in the shallows. And that's how we do it up here on Sam River. You want that one? Yeah. Enough to make the grease, man. <laughs> ah. Yeah, now he's moving the other way. There we go. Guys, another good one here. Two of them. Yep. Whoa, look at that catfish jump out of that water like that. Three of them, man. Oh, that's weight. You know how jealous all these fishermen are. They come out here and do all this work and they don't get nothing like this. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they couldn't. They can't do that. They have to be really skilled. <laughs> but are you experienced? <laughs> In the words of Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> Tell you what, old, old Don showed me a picture of one of them giant bass he caught, and I recognized where it was by the picture he took of it. <laughs> I said, hey, I know where that place is. Ooh, Ooh no shit. Have to be careful there. That was just a foul hook fish there. Yeah. That's is funny. But I tell you what, when they when you got them in the bottom lip, it means they were really on that. <laughs> That's what that means. That means you have to try to knock the bait off. Ah. He cut his bottom jaw. Well, he you know. He he he's gonna be released in the late Crisco. So one more day out running no trot lines. Do you have them back there? Oh, there they are. I see them. Thanks for helping. We got a couple more on there. Is, that gar ain't even dead, is he? I can't tell. I'll just say this. He's a lot easier to handle. Oh, no. 
That's about a four pounder, three point four pounder. I'd say no. That, that's about a six to eight pounder. <laughs> that's about a ten pounder right there. That's about another eight pounder. That was gonna be the one that spins, don't spin. I'm that, not touching that one. That's our youngster getting a little. He's a little gun shy after getting finned yesterday. <laughs> Hit that button and empty the life well. <laughs> look, look at that big old live well on this Ranger boat. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Not bad for an hour and a half out on the water. Of course, like I said, guys, if y'all don't know what you're doing, be sure to go with someone who does when you're doing this. We had, uh, you know, there were some issues that come up, and I, oops, I was darn glad to be with somebody who knew what they was doing. Thanks for taking us, Dwayne. We enjoyed it. Oh, we sure did. We'll have some more. They'll have some bigger ones come tomorrow. Uh huh. <laughs> Take your finger in his mouth and see if he's got teeth. I'll hit him with the handle. How we go? So we got. That ain't a bad haul. Four, six, eight, nine. Yes, sir. And several of them over five pounds. Now that's fishing, Jesse. <laughs> what do you think, Jess? Take a picture of me and send them to Kobe. Kobe at work? Yeah. Did y'all ever get any ready? Yeah. Uh, guys, there's a, there's a top fish what we did this morning on the trot line and with the old Mo Show. And they actually caught those on float lines or what we call noodles here. And we got some more. You want to see how much it weighs? Oh, go ahead. He, we, we estimated... This is our youngster redneck here. Ten, ten pounds. We were close. Ten, that's eleven a, pounds. Ten, eleven pounds. Yeah, ten and eleven pounds. How about that? Look there, guy. That's some good eating though right there. Uh huh. Oh, good old blue cat, huh? Six pounds. Eleven. 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 And see, they do that to bleed them out. Get, get that blood out of them. Which is a poor thing to do there. Uh-huh. Wow, that other one's still kicking. Well, are you through videoing mine? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll take the tongue mine. Well, good. No, I was waiting to get you in the video, James. Right. You think I ain't discriminative? Do you, what, what water depth do you catch that in, James? 30 feet. 30 feet, huh? Yeah. That's nice. Hey, James here is a badass. That's all there is to it when it comes to catching these big cats. He got down to a science. It is all part of it. I mean, for real. James, see, he's got his fish cleaning station. He's got his hanging hooks. The man... What's that? Bragging pole. The bragging pole. I like it. <laughs> the man knows what he's doing when it comes to catching these catfish. That's all there is to it. Especially these bigger ones. Hey, we've had them drag the ground before. Oh, I know. I've seen them. <laughs> Why do you think we had to move it up? <laughs> Jesse said, Robert, you going to get me a ticket out here. I said, don't worry.